If you guys were following along a couple videos ago, I started a declutter series called Stuff vs. Enough. I actually did my master bedroom closet for the first go around. Um, and I had some people ask me like, are you gonna clean up the rest of that? Well, of course, but like not right then, right in the moment. I was gonna do that later. So today in the video, you'll see that I actually did clean up my mess that I made in my bedroom. The next few Stuff vs. Enough videos that we're actually gonna do is, uh, I'm working on it right now and that's the kitchen. I promised that the kitchen was gonna be later. So literally last night I did my uh, drink station. Can we all just say hello to my French Bulldog, Luna? Hi, Luna. So I bet you guys made some goals. I don't really like to make resolutions. I think resolutions are kind of an anomaly. Like if you're gonna make a change, why do you need to wait till the first of the year? But there is something about the energy that happens when there's a shift, a month change, a year change that gives you, me, people energy when you do have that energy, it is important to actually try to implement something, whether it's a resolution, whether it's goal setting, whether it's just thoughts that you're having about how you wanna be a better human, a better mom, better wife, better whatever you're trying to be better at. Maybe you're just trying to wash your face at night. That brings me to my three goals that I am going to focus on, whether you wanna call them resolutions or not for the year. Number one, movement. I want to make sure that every day I get 30 minutes of movement in. I don't care if you want to call it a workout. I don't care if you want to call it jogging. I don't care if you want to call it, I'm starting a weights program, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to try to get my heart rate up for 30 minutes. So I'm going to use my watch just to track that. Um, and I think that that would be an easier goal to set than say, oh, I'm going to do this exercise program and I have to stick to it or else, right? So whatever it's, whatever that exercise looks like that day for me, that's my goal. 30 minutes of movement with my heart rate up. Number two, I would love to wash my face at night. I probably haven't washed my face at night in 10 years. Not even going to lie. There are plenty of days where I'm like, oh, my mascara is still on. I'm just gonna go about my next day looking like that. And while that is uh, not bad if you look okay, I don't think it's that good for my face. And you know, when you get, when you get up there um, in the decades, you might need to start taking a little bit better care of yourself. And so that's my goal number two, wash my face at night. And number three, and this one's gonna be the craziest for me, I am in the time of my life where I have to transition a kid to college. So my oldest is 18 and she's a senior this year. And so she's going to be transitioning to college in the fall. And so somehow, not even just the transition of me getting her there, helping her pack, making sure that she has all the things that she needs to be able to survive as a semi-adult in the world but for me i'm gonna be the only girl in the house now and so i gotta try to figure out how to survive in a house full of boys i've always been a boy mom but i've always had a girl here and don't get me wrong she's not a girly girl so it's not like we're sitting around doing our hair putting on makeup painting her nails all the time we do all of those things together but like I've coached her in softball her whole life. She's always gone with me to help coach other teams. And so not having her here is going to be bizarre. And so I'm going to have to relearn how to live in a life full of dudes. Look. Are you ready? Are you ready? Can you see it? <laughs> oh! What are these like?
like the most satisfying videos ever. This is not satisfying <laughs> at all. There's some kind of Lego or something stuck in there. We'll get it all out. Just a few of my thoughts on like 2020. It was the most bizarre yet maybe most productive year of my life. Um, I had gotten caught up in being so busy and busy was more important than being productive sometimes. And so I would catch myself making up things to do so that I had something to do, right? I don't know if anybody relates to that or not, but like I couldn't sit still. And if things were still, it was like, it made me panic. Um, and so our lives had gotten so hectic with all three of the kids being teenagers, husband working, me working, going back and forth, back and forth to lessons, back and forth to practices, back and forth to school things, back and forth, everything was just back and forth. It was like, I would get home from, I drive home from work, get home from work, time to go. Everybody rush out the door, everybody get ready, gotta leave. Then we're there. Then it's like, oh, now it's time to go home. Whether I coached or whether I sat and waited, whether I dropped off and ran an errand and came, went back and got him, whatever the case may be, it was always about me coming home and holy crap, there's nothing to eat for dinner. What the heck are we gonna eat for dinner? So luckily this pandemic hit, that is the most bizarre thing I think I've ever said out loud, but it really forced our family to slow down. It forced us to become a family again because we were living in the same house, but we were never with each other. Okay, so not to interrupt the cleaning, but Jason and I are going to have a beer break. Beer break. <laughs> Our friends called and said, hey, what are you guys doing? We're in town, do you want to meet us to have a beer? And what a better way to reward all your hard work cleaning than to, you know. Than a randomized beer gathering. Right. So Jason and I have left the premises. Lexi just got home from work. She's eating her firehouse subs and Xander's still sleeping on the couch. And uh, looks like it might be fun for yourself night for dinner tonight for the crew. So. so again, thanks for joining me. If you're enjoying these videos and you wanna see more videos about cleaning, cooking, just being a normal mom in life, um, go ahead and subscribe to this channel and I'll be sure to add tons and tons of videos that make you feel like an actual person and that the things you got going on in your life are normal too because there's too much pressure being put on families moms everybody to be perfect and uh, we're trying to kibosh that stigma 